Anybody know anything, they know how hard it is to find good restaurants and good black owned businesses, right, in the city. And so, go on my Google searches and I find Bean Soup Times, they had a, a, a list of all the black owned restaurants in Chicago. And they did like a little restaurant challenge. And I've been marking off the restaurants for, you know, almost a year and some change now since that list came out. And I meet this guy downstairs of my building one day and we get to chopping it up and we talking and we shooting it. And all of a sudden he mentioned that he got, you know, he, uh, that he run his own restaurant. And mind you, he is outside in front of our building chopping up uh, jerk chicken. <laughs> Which, you know what I mean? He, so he doing his own self-advertisement right there. And that's how we had started talking. Yeah, so he told me a lot. He told me about the business and whatnot. And I was like, you know what? I just, I could have sworn I just seen that on a, on a news article I was reading. He was like, really? Which one are you talking about? So I pulled out, you know, we all got technology. You linked up, right? So I pulled out my phone, doo -doo -doo, pulled it up and showed it to him. He was like. I didn't even know I was even in that thing. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no clue. I was like, word. And come to find out, this brother shops black, buys black owned. And then in the search for his quest for food for the black dollar and circulating, he ended up finding me. And we've been best friends since that day. I right promise on. you. And I appreciate the Bean Soup Times and Mr. Tory Muhammad for Got even that. putting that publication out. Because through him, I met a brother. You understand? And we straight like that. You hear me? For real.